Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY Christmas decorations such as this. Stick around until the end of this video and I'm gonna show you what else you can do with the pieces like that. For this project you're gonna need toilet paper rolls, three or four of them, depending on the height of your toilet paper roll. What are you gonna do? First, you're gonna flatten it like that and crease here and you can do it with your hands or you can do it with an iron and when you do it with an iron it's nice and flat like that. First we're gonna create strips like that. So for this step you're gonna need uh, your flattened toilet paper roll, awesome scissors, pencil, protractor, and first you're gonna do, you're gonna measure a 60 degree angle. I am gonna be using a template I have here from previously cutting this. So first what you're gonna do, you're gonna um, mark a 60 degree angle line here, like that. And now we need to find what is the width of our strip. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure this line. So you measure the line. It's going to be equal uh, seven and a half centimeters in this case. Uh, you may have a different width of your toilet paper roll. Uh, so what's important here is that the width of your line here, this part, is one fifth of your length. So you would measure this, divide by five, and then that would be your uh, width of your strip. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, take the uh, like a, a ruler, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure uh, one and a half centimeters, which would be a fifth of uh, 7.5 centimeters. So we're gonna measure uh, one and a half centimeters here, and then one and a half centimeters here, and then one and a half centimeters here, and then this will be the end. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna just mark the lines that we're gonna cut. Here you go. And now all we have to do is cut the strips. And then this piece you can use for uh, as a template for your next next paper roll. Okay, so. This is, by the way, Sherman Ultra toilet paper. Okay, here you go. You're gonna need 12 strips in total. So here's, uh, I already created them beforehand. So three toilet paper rolls and 12 strips in total. First, let's make this one. This one is um, easier to make. So first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one strip and then uh, make sure it's on this angle and take another strip and put it over the first one. Then we'll take a third one. And this, this is how it's gonna go here. So this goes inside, 
so this strip is on top so therefore it goes on the bottom of this strip okay and then you tighten it there you go that's one piece so next thing you're gonna do you're gonna take a uh, fourth piece and put it like that here and then the next part is gonna go like that here and then this end goes inside and then tighten okay and then continue piece is a bit tight but okay there you go this is complete now you can um, use spray paint or I've used this metallic silver or there's also bronze and gold sharpie markers and you can color it and uh, here you go you have a golden piece But for this piece you also need 12 strips 12 individual strips um, this one is a little um, tricky so but uh, it's still very easy and very fun to do so for this piece you also need 12 strips so what we're gonna do first um, we are going to assemble uh, this hexagon shape the center uh, so you take one strip and then you put another one on top and then you continue until you have a hexagon shape form uh, because nothing is holding it uh, you kind of need to hold it with your hands and once all the pieces are in place it's gonna be a little more uh, sturdy Going five and six. Okay, so and then this one, this piece, you kind of need to slide it down like that and then put it inside of your first piece. And then take it out. So here you go. Here we have the inner piece, the center piece. Okay. Okay. Now to build outer edges, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take uh, another piece, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it here. So on this angle, you have one piece going that way and one piece going this way. So you can already see that it formed a triangle. Um, but before you can put this piece inside of this piece, you need to do the same for every... You need to put a piece here. Okay. And once this piece is here, you can close this part. I iron it a bit too well. okay here you go so again before closing this triangle we're gonna put another one here and then this goes inside Okay. 
Oke, okay, enak sih. Okay, so I showed you how to make this kind of uh, decorations, this kind of ornaments. Um, this is another one that I have here, and it's colored with two uh, colors here. Um, something else you can do. So, what else you can use to make uh, items like that? So, this is a kitchen tissue roll. It's nice and white. This also can be used for items like that. And um, another ultimate source of paper is a wrapping paper rolls. Uh, they're nice and big, although not as wide as toilet paper roll. But if you compare, it's slightly smaller, smaller, but still a nice source of uh, recycled paper that you can use. So uh, these are small elements. These are small um, kind of pieces like that. So if you continue using the same technique and just keep on building, you can build bigger items. Um, and because it's a geometry, you can build items like that. Uh, it doesn't even fit the... So out of uh, this ornament, if you continue building around it, you can build items like this. And then this one. Okay. 